Yeah, we spoke to some law enforcement officials last hour reminding everyone that last year in 2016, 21 people lost their lives on New Year's Eve because of DUI-related accidents. But it is not just law enforcement. Fire officials as well have to deal with it. And joining us right now is uh, Captain Eric Scott with the L.A. City Fire Department. And you guys get an increase in calls as well. L.A. Uh, uh, PD says uh, they have uh, 10,500 DUI arrests. What are your numbers on a night like New Year's Eve? Well, we are definitely keeping busy as well. As a matter of fact, we saw an increase of about 250 additional calls during New Year's Eve last year. So we're seeing traffic collisions increase, over drinking, overdosing, injuries. Uh, so a lot of these are preventable. Now's the time where we want people to prepare and figure out how they're going to get home safely if they're going to drink. And, and people don't just realize it's not just the law enforcement aspect in jail. Look at this display here and talk to us. We know that a 21 year old lost his life in uh, this car last year. He was drinking and driving. But when a fire official who has to use the jaws of life to pry a family out of this. Talk to me about what goes through their minds and what they have to go through that night to try to save lives because someone else was stupid and drinking. These are very tragic incidents and when firefighters have to get on scene and you see sometimes uh, another family that was innocently uh, uninvolved but hit by a DUI driver and now we have to come in and cut that roof and peel that off of that family or firefighter paramedics are climbing inside they're uh, intubating and breathing for people that are unconscious and again some of these are just innocent bystanders yeah very tragic and, and it's not just the uh, DUI driver that person who's under the influence there are families there are children there are people on the road that you have to tend to Right, and even sometimes on the sidewalk is where we end up finding them sprawled about. So uh, very, very tragic consequences that we don't want to have to see these innocent lives uh, being hurt and uh, injured. And so what we want people to do is to be, have a great time, but be responsible. And be smart. And there's so many other things you can do. There's alternate transportation. Uh, Metro is offering free rides to try to help get people off the roadways from 9 p.m. New Year's Eve to 2 a.m. New Year's Day. There's Uber, you name it. The, the moral of the story is it's preventable. Be smart. That's right. And there's other simple things, too, like uh, people who celebrate are using fireworks sometimes this time of year. We've seen the very dry brush that we have, so certainly a spark could um, create another wildfire. So those are other things to keep in mind that certainly we don't want to have any more problems. Right, because if you do drink and drive, this is where you're going to end up, sending it back to you in the studio.